when I met with our team, I told them what they probably already know, that given the circumstances, the ice that they're standing on is so thin, they can see the water below. Um, you know, there's not a room for error, maybe as there have been in the past. That was New Mexico State Athletic Director Mario Mocha on Wednesday tonight, six days after New Mexico State basketball player Mike Peak was involved in a deadly shooting. The Aggies were back on the court to play San Diego tonight in the Las Vegas Holiday Classic. Peak is still hospitalized after he and the deceased Brandon Travis were involved in a gunfight on the University of New Mexico campus hours before the Aggies were set to play the Lobos last Saturday. Every NMSU player except Peak made the trip to Las Vegas for the tournament tonight, but NMSU did not say if anyone might face any disciplinary actions of any kind once they were in Las Vegas. So well, everyone able to play was in uniform. Greg Heyer and his assistant coaches on the bench for this one. Early going for the Aggies, a hot start. Dr. Bradley, the driving dunk, he had 15 points, eight rebounds, seven of seven from the floor. Xavier Pinson, red hot from three as well, hits a three there, and then we'll knock in another one from the left wing right there. Kwaye Gordon and also Red hot from three, the corner triple knocks it down. He had 16 points and then just before half, it'll be Pinson knocking in his fifth three pointer of the first half. Five of six was Xavier Pinson in the first half from three. Deshondre Washington closing out the first half with a floater, 11 points, nine assists in the game for Washington. He had uh, had them up 16 points at the break. Second half, Pinson to the rim. That would ice this one. NMSU wins 90 to 77. Five players in double figures led by Pinson's 25 points. It's the first Division one win for Greg Hire's crew. NMSU did not have a post game press conference, but Hire spoke on the radio after the game, alluding to the shooting last Saturday. You know, I was really glad to see how the team responded. Obviously, we had a, an extremely difficult week, and, um, you know, I'm just really proud of how they've just rallied and, and just. You know, I was really nervous going into this game because you never know how a team's going to respond, and they all responded. And we played like a team, and um, we showed what we're capable of. Things could be a little bit strange for New Mexico State for a bit. The Aggies will play UC Irvine though tomorrow, 7:30 in Las Vegas.